Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a light elastic rod of force constant k and relaxed length l is suspended from the ceiling a bead of mass m threaded on the cord is held motionless close to the ceiling and released if the bead slides down the cord with a constant speed v relative to the ceiling find the expression for the thermal power dissipated during sliding of the bead okay so basically there is a thread okay and a bead is released which starts its motion with an initial velocity v its speed remains constant with respect to the ceiling and this string is in elastic nature okay and as we know that this v is constant that means some kind of frictional force is of course acting on the bead in the upward direction which balances mg so that the net force on the bead is zero now this frictional force will also act on the str string in the downward direction which will try to stretch this string during the journey of this mass okay so when this bead comes out from this end there will be some loss of uh, heat okay due to this frictional force and we need to calculate that one only so I have drawn the situations I have, as I have already said that there was a bead starting with speed V uh, its speed remain constant and uh, when that bead will come out from the string okay there will be some extension of the string okay the string will elongate by some amount just when the bead leaves the string now from the free body diagram of the mass m we can write that the gravitational force is balanced by the frictional force so mg equals to f as v is constant so we'll keep this in mind and if you draw the free body diagram the string on the string as the string is massless so its own weight is not there only the frictional force will act downwards okay now when that mass just reaches the bottommost point of the string okay so the force that is applied by the uh, sorry by the mass on the string is nothing but the frictional force and that frictional force is equal to mg and mg must be equals to kx0 at that instant so the maximum extension of the spring sorry string will be mg by k okay now we need to find out the heat loss during this whole journey okay now we can tell that the work done by the mass on the string okay uh, I should write here work done by the mass okay mass m not friction work done by the mass m on the string is a part of that is utilized to increase the potential energy of the string and the rest of the part is lost as uh, heat okay so heat equals to wm minus half kx naught square so work done by the mass is nothing but the force Divide, uh, sorry the force multiplied by the displacement of the mass so the length of the journey covered by this mass is the initial length of the string plus this extra x naught so work done by the mass is mg into l plus x naught and half k x naught square is the final potential energy that has been stored in the string just at the end of the journey fine so if we calculate this one we'll just put the value of x naught here so the heat loss in the whole journey is h but we need to find out the power so we need to calculate the time taken by the bead to reach the bottommost point so the bottommost point the time taken will be total distance traveled by the bead divided by the speed of the bead okay now just divide h by t you will get the power dissipated okay fine so you can also tell this as the average power dissipated okay fine so if you just simplify it your final expression would look like this okay so this was a simple question and i hope you all have enjoyed it if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and if you like the video give a thumbs up share it with your friends teachers and uh, just click that subscribe button okay and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.